Greetings and welcome back, Chaos and Sewers, to Rocksmith 2014 First Impression Slash Overview. And this game has just come out on Tuesday, October 22nd, and it's looking Rocksmith really good for the next Rocksmith sequel. So first of all, uh, the first thing I noticed when trying to use this with a headset USB uh, is it gives me this weird error message, so I'm not sure if Ubisoft will have something to fix on that, but uh, it kind of bugged me a little bit since I had to record differently. Uh, some overall things about the game, though. The load times are inexistent, and the only loading time you do is first when you start up the game, which is pretty amazing. Uh, the next thing that you'll notice is when you finally get into the game after you finish the first overall tutorial is that you can play your guitar almost anywhere. The amp is already automatically active, and you can strum away and play guitar on anything. The amp customization has grown quite a lot. There are a different way to add pedals and loops and things like that into your amp collection. And also the way that you select custom amps on the screen is cool too. It goes by song this time, so instead of thinking like, is this amp for this song or whatever, you can select it right from the screen. The other thing that Ubisoft has also mentioned before uh, on day one release is that DLC songs have yet to be working. They're not showing up in people's song lists, but Rocksmith 1 DLC is working with the $10 crossover that you can buy via the store. Tuning is much faster this time around. Uh, there's a whole bunch of tunings along with that to go with it, and it's added more diversity to what kind of songs are able to be put in Rocksmith, and it's really, really cool. There's also been a revamp to the way the look of the game has been changed. It's no longer a kind of vertical, it's more horizontal as most people would be accustomed to. And there's many ways to sort songs such as artist or song name, and now it's even by difficulty or recommended by Rocksmith. The new things that are even better is the improved riff repeater. You can go and select your difficulty along with selecting how many times you'd like to repeat it or the acceleration that you'd like to put it at, along with expanding and decreasing the selection of the riff repeater itself and choosing to have it not kick you off after so many failed attempts. The next thing play. I'm going to look at is the endless mode. In the endless mode, you can set your time anywhere from 5 to 90 minutes, and you can also edit your songs that you want to play, and you'll jam out for however long, just endlessly, hence the name. The lessons, lessons mode has been greatly expanded. There's a whole lot of lessons that you can now do, which is just absolutely phenomenal with all of the people trying to learn the game from the beginning. It's really awesome. Together, the, the session thing. mode, which everyone is raving over now, is, is very cool. You can choose your own band and you can also have choice from the custom ones that they have made for you and there's a couple different guitars and keyboards pianos and all sorts of different things in order to have fun with jamming out with a band and all that kind of stuff and last but not least is the new and improved guitarcade with guitar more in different games and old games that you're used to and the games are really fun this time around they look like 80s graphical games combined with current age graphics which is really neat uh, the one thing that I was really surprised is that they got rid of the overall score in terms of how you would level up in Rocks, but now it's all about percentages and things like that in order to quote-unquote progress through the game. But overall, a very awesome addition to Rocksmith, the first game, and I definitely give Rocksmith 2014 very, very high reviews. Hopefully they'll fix the DLC issues very soon. And they already have six songs ready for download for new DLC, and they'll be working on more DLC soon. So if you haven't got this game, you should definitely pick it up if you're interested in learning electric guitar, or if you have the first Rocksmith, it definitely is nice. worth spending the $70 since the extra 10 is used to buy the expansion for the old songs to cross over to get back onto this game, because it definitely is a massive improvement. So that'll be it for me. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.